What's going on YouTube around here? Welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed so far. Let's get straight into it. If you have done, please like click and hit the notification button to stay all my content. I've just sold a couple of horses and it's got an all new stable, not very different, so. For today's video, I kind of want to get this city sorted out, get all these missions done. You okay, so bro? why me? I'll do this one. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am oh, a I this one. genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray. Not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. Still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté. Hello. Hello, sir. Okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I... Cheeky. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a student. I watched them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh, so, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control. Oh. Check if there's any funny yeah. business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificates. Oh, I'm hey, close. It's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now get it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Evasive maneuvers. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. Wow, oh, that's close. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hamlet. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like that. Well, I'm not sure about that. There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you 
See what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, 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 the demonstration is not over yet. Any fool can explore the city. Oops. It's kind of, oh, sh it's a little boat with toy missiles. It's not that going to blow them up, is it? Nice. Use this ones to steer. No, I got it again. This one to shoot torpedoes. Okay. I was trying to splash them. Yes. Now, now blow up the little battleships and and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleship. Are you calling a silly dimwit? Technology can do in the hands of certified genius. And I have certificate. Carefully, to see what he does. There, I'm going for you. Ooh. Ah, yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> uh -huh. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, okay. we'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. You know, Pedestrian in comparison to this technology, we are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you! Can't turn it around. What, what, thing to fund? what an opportunity! No, oh, no, no, no. This up. Not even dim with here. Hey! You really all work on your salesmanship. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very well, she shot good. it, huh? Now bring in the boat back here. I say look out for mines. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. <laughs> no, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Okay. What do you say? I hope you will forgive my European course. In the Balkans, we are never the Alright. Is that one done? I want to get this city cleared out of all missions, so... Let's head to Mary. See what she wants. Hello there. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Babin? Hello, mister. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. He left you, mate. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Give it a rest. I've had about enough of this. Oh, bug out's an accident. Hey. 
Okay, I'll just pay my bounty real quick then. Surrender. Just don't okay. shoot. No need for God a damn it. Just come on with me. It's an accident. Get Whoa. One more step and it's your funeral. It's only joking. Now, I don't want trouble. I just want you to come with me. That's the wrong button. I didn't mean to choke him out. I can't bother to get into a whole shootout. Last time I done that, I was in having a shootout for ages in there last night. Where was I? Yeah. Back to Mary. Ain't no? Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. Who's your idiot, mate? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than my daughter. I hate him all my friends. Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is—it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur, be kind to me, please. I'm sorry. I am. I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. None. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Okay. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm's beneath you. He's been gambling, and drinking, and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Okay. Come on, man. 
Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. <laughs> oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I'm wondering at the end of it, maybe, but I don't know. Well, eventually. Mate, she's taking you for a fool, man. I wanted to be. So what do you think he's up I don't remember much of him. I'm not sure. First one. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. I wonder if they actually want to wait till he dies. He's usually falling down. Arthur. I know Bill survives. He wasn't always this. Maybe have yeah. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. But this is the place. I said my balls is. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. The fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady. You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me, you head home! I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. You're not gonna tighten, are you? Down here. Let's see where he's going. He went around the corner. I know. Hold on, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Just follow the smell. you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> He's heading across the road. No, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Hey, it's new clothes. I bought them yesterday. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad 
glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman or dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. Family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not his to sell. Yeah, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself oh, killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Nah. You'll probably kill someone. Oh, but you like that, don't you, Mary? I am a shame. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Come on, horse. This way, horse. I'm as fast as I can. I'm gonna get away. Moles is taking too long to get to me. Just push us all that horse. It's gonna get away. Come on, horse, I can't catch up without you. How far is it? I'm still over there. Well, let's go escape, so. Yeah. Oh dear. Wish I checked point. Just have to still have holes in the thing. Where's my horse? Is it still there? It's not coming around, is it? Tell you what, I'll just still with his horse for now.
Go face it, you gotta guess. is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Look, I got no money. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Threaten me again. Back. <laughs> My treasure for that as well, I'll take from a rich. Not again. Oh, I can break that lot though. So I can get from here. I ain't got to do it myself. Take a walk. I'll take you to the truck. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Well, I did kind of bite off him, knock him out, steal the money back. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why, yes. Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Oh, well. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the... Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. How oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot, but you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so. Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. The only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, 
the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting or not? Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. This sounds kind of catchy. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. We're heading to the sun to meet town. Carpet baggers, coal miners, and mountain folk. Loosen them stirrups and let off that go. Pretty young things, say, come with me. The back of the second girl, I'll let us play for it. I may want to skip forward in the video a bit. Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah! Stop it. Oh, look. It's trying it. You 
you can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Come on, fire lady! I trust the worst, mate. Bravo! What's the joint in your clap? <laughs> That's a hard thing to do, bro. Bed down, it's like a fire around you, like burning yourself. I can't dance to save my life. Oh, enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Another song from. Maybe we should cheat about that the old
Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? How about that? Those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, do it. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite trolley. ridiculous, but somehow very nice amusing. Out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unless no, she means that. My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. He but would. it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got a trap into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Level two of that help with her, so probably gonna be more. Map, where to now? That one, I think. Or Fast my horse. All the way over there. Oh my god. So I get a letter of someone. I should have followed the waypoint for me. Wait a sec, guys. I'll start recording when I get back to the next mission. Next mission, sorry.
fly mouth. Oh, let's just go over here. Two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what up? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. Okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! from the law so I thought I'd check out one before I was there but they paid about me and I couldn't get back into St. Denise to pay the bounty without getting more bond bounty on me so I ended up coming out here let's head back into St. Denise now and get this, get this one done Some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Mm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. That one was quite simple, wasn't it? Sorry guys, in the text. Alright, let's set up this one now. Okay. It's not too far. Sister, 
My friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! These kids are the worst! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. Oh, sorry, mate. You little bastards! Oh. You alright? No, oh, how the kid did this? You know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? That way, please. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe your eyes don't work so good no more. You kids! Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, I don't know you. This is Bounce? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. Well, I didn't do anything. Time to start letting it all. Okay, so. Sheriff fighter, isn't there? And uh Why you been? Real slow. Oh my god, now I'm also stuck. I can't get through. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, 
I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. All right. Where to now while I'm still in the city? Uh, nothing here that I don't fucking see. Actually, I do want to go to ammunition. Buy some gun oil. Which is just there. Ammunition? I don't know what to put that for. Door, I guess. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Take a look at our catalog. Let Customize. me know if you want to get a feel for any of them. to see you taking care of it. So many people don't. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Actually, it can add to stability. Uh, rifle, Springfield rifle as well, one. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Scope. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make a difference. Stop. can do some nice ornate engraving on there, if you like, good price. No, I put it in that. Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? I'll do now. Actually, one thing I would do is get that uh, bow action rifle in the scope. What? Do you want something from me? Shut up. I'll rob you. Alright, customize. Bow action. I can Bonus. see you look after your firearm. I could fit some different stocks of you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. No, I didn't see that. Short scope, you see. Yeah. You got no regrets with that decision. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. Low range, nice. And I will buy some ammo for that bolt action while I'm here. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. And will you be needing any okay. ammunition? This is the same thing.
I can see you look after your firearm. Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? I do now. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I could fit some different stocks of you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. You will feel the difference right away. Well done. They're the ones I put my shoes mostly. I can see you look after your firearm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? I'll give you a real edge. Now I need to sort that pistols out now while I'm here. Did you not do my pistol? Oh, revolvers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double action. Clean weapon. Looks like you've been taking good care of that Grip. gun. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. Length. Rifling. I do. Iron sight, improved irons. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. Styles. No, I will look that. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Ooh. Ammunition. And will you be needing any ammunition? Well, I spent a lot of money already, didn't I? Jeez. <laughs> I can see you look after your firearm. I can do some nice ornate engraving. Oh, is it free? If you like, good price. Something or you leave. I bought plenty of that. Cheeky. That looks nice. I'm happy with that. I've got Ninety dollars left in my name. Yeah. Yeah, and making you spend all that money. Right, I think I'm going to head back to camp now and get that Hosea mission done. Actually, I'll do that one there. That won't take long. I won't take too long, so I'll quickly ride over there and I'll restart recording again when I get there and then I'll head straight down to it. See you in a sec, guys. Just getting here. Do that one here actually. It's just hiding. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own.
document man. You don't want to die again. Things gone. Still trying to get the hang of these tomahawks and fire knives. Sometimes the tomahawk one shots, sometimes it misses, sometimes it does hit marks and tickles them. I should get a dog in this game. Oh, sheriff. Now that's quick. So where is that? All the way out there. I'll do it when I'm near Saint Denise. I'd rather do this on the first. Alright. See you when I get to my mission, guys. My horse, because I was on the way back. And bounty hunters ambushed me and killed my horse. Not my first one I had all this time. Killed my jersey. They give me some other horse, so I sold that for the extra cash. And that's one back in. So I sold that, and then I got this one. I had it in the stables already, so. Who's that? Hey, Ivan. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climate. Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Quite often, there can be fine frequency 
No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know is that we're going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. I am sure that we will find something. Okay? <laughs> I first I'll take my dog for a walk real quick. If she Gentlemen, wants to go. Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. I better get my guns back. Look at him. looks different. Mr. Bronte. Jeez. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. I don't know how these guys wearing. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come on, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Phil, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Ganga? <laughs> We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. It's a nice house to be fair. Per la prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, yeah, quite something. Join no, us. Quite sure so, this is Sanani High Society. Yes, apparently so. What oh, the oh, people? These are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. <laughs> oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that... I still don't trust this guy. Howard Crowley. <laughs> a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that this is... His very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, I'm huh? Nothing <laughs> died. Yes, and a letter to the mayor. No, about that. That'll save you. <laughs> I've got this clean history was about and idiots that, and civil figures. That is Hector Fellows. Yeah. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. <laughs> None taken. None taken! <laughs> Walkies! All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> it's a walk. <laughs> well, uh, In five minutes, thank you for walk. It's been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go and enjoy travel yourselves and mingle with this vulgar yes. stuff. It will yeah. make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money... Yes. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs>
Ok ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. Eh. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If you're kind of going, I'll take you for a walk. Yeah, we've got walkies in a bit. In like five minutes. I would have got it so smart. She knows what I'm saying. <laughs> Gentlemen, enjoy your evening. Okay. She probably think I'm South Walk actually. Text me for a walk around the way she knows where she's going. And she knows exactly where to come back. She can go somewhere like once, or like a four mile, five mile walk. I say to her going to that place and she knows where she's going and she takes me there. Thank you, girl. Matter of fact, I have got a TikTok channel. It's Brummyads number one, which is Brummyads one. I've done some videos on my dog Megan on meth. You'd like to check him out. Perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you, Mikulo? <laughs> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it up. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Hello. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged <laughs> drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Bronte has a happy tip, wandering about and reading whatever. 
Who do you think you are? Meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, Miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Oh, she's gone this way. Upstairs. Waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. Ooh. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lennon. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it.
Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the river boat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> That done. On the right. Anyway, set guys, I'm going to take my dog for walking up. I'm going to do one more mission for the video. Don't know how long the video is now, but I've got to check that before I even decide what mission I want to do. What's that? Oh yeah, I remember that one. I'm r roughly where I was. There's a couple of missions I've done. I think I did that one there. I remember that one, sort of. Okay, so I'm gonna probably do that one, and then add that, and then then do that. Give me a sec, guys. What the knock? You know what guys, I'm actually going to leave it here before the video gets any longer. It's about an hour and a half right at the moment, so I don't know how long that mission is going to take, so I'll do that for the next video. I apologise for the lack of main story missions today, but I wanted to get them um, secondary missions done. And then see, get them all out of the way. Oh, cute dog. So I wanted to get all them done. But I'll, as soon as I get back from taking my dog for a walk, I'll get on straight on the next video and I'll do it and story my missions. So stay tuned for that. If you liked today's video, please like it and hit the notification button to stay up to date all my content. And if there's any particular games you want to see a walkthrough on, comment below and I'll do them for you. I've got a few other games planned, but I want to finish this one first. Take care guys, peace out.